So you guys ready to get the answers for test number four? I am sure you are. I'm sure you are. So in test number four, I asked you these questions uh, on this chart. You have a Cancer Ascendant with Mars in Cancer in the first house. You have Venus in the second house. You have Sun in the fourth house in Libra. And then you have Moon in the 11th house in the sign of Taurus. Okay. And pretty much all of you answered pretty well. It's good. Very good. So first of all, what we have in this chart is something called Game Thrum Dosh. Game Thrum Dosh, meaning that Moon is alone in the chart. Moon doesn't have any planets on either side of it and neither any planets is in conjunction with it. And this, what it does, it creates a very introverted personality. Like these people usually either are alone in life, in their youth, like they don't have too many friends or when friends come, they just quickly leave. They have a very introverted personality, meaning they are happy being by themselves. They are kind of shy, uh, but don't mistake shy for being introverted. And after, you know, their youth, like 24, 25 even, they just blossom. You know, they have the network, they have friends. But one thing you got to realize, this moon is in the 11th house of networking, of socializing. So the game room effect is not as bad as you think. If it was in the 12th house, which is isolation, then you can totally say, yes, this person is absolute introverted, shy, loner personality. But in the 11th house, it, it, it balances out. Even though it's still happening, this person doesn't mind being in the company of other people. Now, I told you guys in the test number four that there are two things happening with one arrow. Well, those two things that are happening is called Nietzsche Bhangaraj Yoga. Nietzsche means low, Bhang means uh, distinguish of something or, a, or cancellation of something, and Raj Yoga means kingly combination. So what's happening in this chart is cancellation of debilitation and taking a planet to higher than itself. So Mars and Sun are both debilitated in this horoscope because Sun is weak in Libra, Mars is weak in Cancer. Okay, but how does a Nietzsche Bhang Raj Yoga is occurring in this chart? Well, it's happening because first of all, Mars is getting its cancellation from Moon. Because the way you get a Nietzsche Bhang in this particular case is that when Lord of the sign where Mars is debilitated is excelled. So our Moon is excelled in Taurus because Moon is excelled in Taurus. So it's canceling Mars's Nietzsche Bhanga. But then you have sun's debilitation. How is that being canceled? So how is it that sun is losing its debilitation in this chart? Well, that's because a planet can lose its debilitation, not just by their sign of the Lord, where they're debil debilitated or they're excelled in, or in their own sign or excelled, but it can also occur when a planet that is debilitated and Lord of that uh, sign where the planet is debilitated or excelled is Kendra from the Ascendant or the Moon. Okay, Kendra, what is Kendra? Kendra are, in, in a particular Vedic astrology chart, Kendra is known as the inner plates, as you see here. The first, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth house. These are the inner plates known as Kendra. Okay, and you can have Kendra from any planet. So, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth planet from the Sun is Kendra from the Sun. 1st, 4th, 7th, and 10th place from Venus is Kendra from Venus. But in a niche pong occurs when a planet is in these other plates, a planet that is either helps the planet debilitate or excels. Okay, so in our case, Mars is in Kendra from the Ascendant. That means it's sitting in the Ascendant. So Mars is canceling Sun's debilitation. So this is how, another way, a debilitation occurs. Now, if Mars was his first, fourth, seventh, or tenth place from the moon as well, counterclockwise, counter then again, a debilitation would occur. Now, another thing that is occurring in this chart is Parivartan Raj Yoga. Last test, we had Parivartan Yoga exchange of energies. Like two planets, and no matter what sign they are, they're exchanging energies, they're activated. But now that two planets have changed signs, Sun is in Libra sign, and the um, sun is in Venus' sign and Venus is in sun sign. That means a Raj Yoga is occurring, a kingly combination. However, these yogas can not always give a 100% effect. 
okay because what if you have one planet in the sixth sixth eighth or twelfth house and the other in some other house that means their negative houses and positive houses both exchanging energies calling raj yoga but then it's neutralized because it's not from the good aspect but in this case it's pretty good because second house is wealth fourth house is also real estate family vehicles so yes there's there's going to be a conveniency of this energy and also remember this person can be very wealthy first of all the ascendant is in the 11th house of gains of money venus in the second house of wealth your your assets your savings okay and then mars and sun are both debilitated debilitated planets give far more wealth than excelled planets remember that also when the niche punk is occurring in this chart it's really making them kingly but remember one thing having a niche bhang raj yoga doesn't mean that you will not suffer the debilitated effect of that planet you will but you will suffer them in terms of your family environment so let's say if your son is debilitated but it's receiving a niche punk however you will still have a bad relationship with the father or father will be very distant to you or uh, your father might die at an early age however what a professional sphere this person is going to be becoming a uh, king of his is um his area of expertise whether it's politics whether it's entertainment whether it's engineering whether it's medicine doctor you know there could be doctors with debilitated son but when they're receiving a niche pang that means professionally it shines them however family wise is they still suffer the debilitated effect of that planet and also this person is manglik because Mars is in the first house. So this person is receiving his manglik effect as well. Now another thing to notice because Mars is debilitated in the ascendant, ascendant is about the face, the personality, the health. Uh this person can uh, be very very angry porn, short-tempered person, okay? Sun is weak and debilitated in the 4th house in the sign of Libra and it's losing its directional strength in the 4th house. that means this person can also have heart problems they need to look, watch out for the heart okay they should watch out for the cholesterol level as well so this is these are some of the things that are happening um, i wanted to mainly concentrate on uh the technical aspect of it because a prediction can only be made when all the planets are present really but uh you know guys did a terrific job so this was my answers for test number 4 end of this week you will see the test 5 But anyway, if you're new to my channel, subscribe above because you are learning, you are growing while you're watching me, okay? As a person. So, and if you want to know more about astrology and its myths and misconceptions, check out my link below. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.